Electoral and Boundaries Commission has been thrown into a further crisis after three commissioners resigned. IBC Vice Chairperson Constance Maina, Paul Kurgat and Margaret Mwachanya quit citing poor leadership by Chairman Wafula Chebukati. Now, in a statement, Chebukati said he learned of the move from the media and has not received any resignation letters. The resignations now leave only three commissioners in office who cannot conduct any business due to lack of quorum. Rita Tinina begins our bulletin tonight. On a day that the IEBC was slated to hold a crisis meeting, the commission was thrown into a further crisis as IEBC Vice Chair Constance Miner and Commissioners Paul Kurgat and Margaret Mochanya quit. We regret to announce our resignation from the commission with immediately effect. Their reasons all pointing to one man, IEBC Chairman Wafula Chebukati. The commission chair has failed to be the steady and stable hand that steers the ship in difficult times. The soft-spoken Chebukati, the three commissioners say, has stood by as the IEBC boardroom was turned into a venue for other agenda. Under his leadership, the commission boardroom has become a venue for peddling money, misinformation, grounds for brewing mistrust, and a space for scrambling for and chasing individual glory and credit. Chebukati, they claim, has been running a one-man show without consulting all the commissioners on crucial decisions. We have had many instances where statements have been issued purporting to give a position of the commission. Yet, those statements are mispresentation of facts. In a statement, Chebukati says he learned from media reports that the three commissioners have resigned and is yet to receive formal communication on the matter. The Chebukati team took office just seven months to the August 2017 general election and did not get off to a smooth start, with controversy surrounding, among other things, the 2.5 billion shilling ballot paper printing tender. But it was the August 2017 general election that revealed brewing in fighting within the commission, a situation which escalated with the suspension of commission CEO Ezra Chiloba last week. The removal of a commission CEO secretary is weighty matter and is one that should not have been introduced as a by the way. On Chiloba's side are the commissioners who have now resigned. In the Chebukati faction are Commissioners Abdi Gulie and Boya Molu. The three who are now remaining in the seven-member commission following last October's resignation of Commissioner Rosalina Kombe. With four of the seven commissioners out, the remaining three fall short of the required quorum of five to conduct any business. Just one year, three months in office, and the exit of the commissioners effectively paralyzes the electoral body. Will the remaining three commissioners survive this one, or will they face the same fate as their predecessors, the Isaac Hassan led team, which had to leave office following a negotiated exit? Rita Tinina, KTA News. In the same interest, it would be interesting to bring to your attention details of a press briefing that we have just received in our newsroom from IABC Chair Wafula Chebukati with respect to the resignations that we saw early this morning. He says the commission has today learned that three commissioners, Vice Chairperson, Ms. Consolata Nkatha Maina, um, Ambassador Paul Kurgat and Margaret Mwachanya have resigned. Despite their resignation, they have not returned the public assets entrusted to them. The real reason for their resignation is the plenary resolution to hold the commission secretary to account. The resigning commissioners had a chance through a crisis meeting held in Naivasha on 13th of April 2018 to air their grievances, which they did not. They would also have introduced a motion to ask the commission chair to review the plenary decision. The action demonstrated lack of capacity to lead in difficult times and accommodate divergent views. In fact, the court had observed that the CEO stroke CS would not suffer any prejudice if he proceeds on leave to allow for the in-depth audit. The commission has since commenced the in-depth internal audit, which had necessitated sending the commission secretary um, CEO on compulsory relief. That is the latest um, 
information you're getting from the IEBC, that uh, uh, press, uh, press has just been released by Ab um, Wafula Chebukati, who is the chair of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission with respect to the resignation of the three commissioners in the morning. Now let's move on and look at other news making headlines.